Welcome to day 59 of my 100 days of Waffler journey. Today we're gonna check out this GSAP animation of these cards stacking on top of each other on scroll. This is super easy and it's uh, very useful. It's a trending animation that you see on a lot of websites and it's an animation that's actually very much in demand from clients. So without further ado, let's check this out. Let's see how it's built. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Waffler journey. Let's get to work. Okay, so what we have here is this section, section two, and it has these cards. These are four cards stacked on top of each other. So they are actually, uh, so if we, if we let's, this combo class so if we make this relative you see there are four cards just stacked on top of each other and what I want is that when I scroll the card here goes on top of the card before it so let's do that so first we will have to have a section section 2 in our case that is 400 view height and inside that there is a section track that is sticky, zero from the top. Of course, section two needs to be relative for this to stick to it. And then inside we'll have the elements that we want. In this case, we'll have some padding, some heading here, and then there's a cards container and it has four cards. Now, card wrapper has combo class of a number. So there's four, three, two, one, and these are the order of the stacking that I want. Now, in order to do that, we're just going to use some GSAP code and we will go to this page settings. We will go to before closing body tag. Now you can get the GSAP uh, library and the scroll trigger. So I'm just going to copy that. I already have it here. And then I am also going to copy the code that I prepared for this animation. So again, this is going to be in the clonable, so you can clone it, get this code from the section, and you can play around with it to adjust it to your, to your likings and needs. Okay, so let's break this down. So first, the trigger is section two. Section two is the one with the 400 view height. So this is what's triggering my animation and what's finishing it. And it ends when the section ends. Um, this also you can adjust, you know, when, when the animation ends and how long it takes. There is a scrub, I'm using a scrub. So that's 0 0.3 and the scrub is basically the delay after the scroll. So, you know, it creates some sort of smoothness. So we have some actions that are reverse restart uh, these are toggled then the timeline we are starting from 0 0.8 so these cards are 0 0.8 of course you see like i'm targeting these cards just the card wrapper not each one individually so card wrapper in general it's a 0 0.8 350 percent in the y percent so 350 percent to the bottom it's bigger in scale and it has a duration, this animation has a duration of 1.2. Now this duration is just, again, for the sake of smoothness, but at the end it's, it's your scroll. And then uh, stagger, that is each element 0 0.5 from end. So let's preview this, let's see how this works out. Uh, publishing, all right, so let's check this out. So once we scroll, we have this card here, it goes to the section, and then the card below it, card below it, card below it, and then we're out. And this is something exactly like how I want it. Now, you can adjust this, make it look different, depending on your use case. Uh, you can make this look even nicer and nicer better and better, add more elements to it, add more features to it, you, you can do that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. As usual, there is a clonable in the description below. Make sure to check it out, clone it, 
and share with me what you come up with. Make sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Firefly journey. See you tomorrow.